Hey there, and welcome to Juicy Celeb Talks. The buzz surrounding Marvin Gaye? Hold on to your hat because we've stumbled upon something remarkable a lost interview that's causing quite a stir. You know those rumors you hear through the grapevine? As it turns out, there's some truth to them. Here's the kicker, this interview might just prove that Marvin Gaye was onto something from the start. Yes, you heard that correctly. Remember all those whispers and gossip? Brace yourself, because here's where it gets really interesting. In reality, the last years of Marvin's life weren't exactly static. He wasn't just going through the motions, he was experiencing highs and lows. Picture this, Marvin speaks directly from the heart, dropping truth bombs left and right, and guess what? It's all on tape, no fancy language, just Marvin, his words, and the raw truth. So, sit back, because we're about to delve deep into Marvin Gaye's world, uncovering mysteries and perhaps even rewriting history. Get ready for a wild ride, because this lost interview is about to blow your socks off. Let's dive in. Marvin Gaye was born in the heart of Washington, D.C., on April 2, 1939, at Fredman's Hospital. His parents were Marvin Gaye Sr. an evangelist, and Alberta Gaye, who worked as a domestic helper. Marvin's most memorable childhood moments were in a public housing project called the Fairfax Apartments, but don't bother looking for it now it's long gone. It was a humble upbringing, with no frills like electricity or running water a true mix of city and country, much like Marvin himself. Marvin was the second oldest of four siblings, with two sisters, Jean and Zola, and a brother named Frankie. Additionally, he had two half-siblings, Michael and Antoine, from different fathers. Education-wise, Marvin attended Cardozo High School, but his true passion lay in singing. He began belting out tunes in church at the tender age of four, with his father accompanying him on the piano. They were part of a strict Pentecostal church choir, all about that Old and New Testament energy. At just 11 years old, Marvin stunned everyone at a school play by performing Mario Lanza's Be My Love. The music bug bit him hard, but life at home wasn't so sweet. His father, known for his harsh discipline, administered beatings for any mistake, creating a home environment that felt like living under a tyrant's rule. Despite the challenges, Marvin found solace in his mother's support and encouragement to pursue his passion for singing. Marvin Gaye Jr., the singer we all know and love, had a tumultuous relationship with his father. Marvin Gaye Sr. reports describe Marvin Sr. as a strict and tough man, far from easygoing. Their relationship wasn't a walk in the park, it was rough from the start. Marvin Sr. had rules for everything, and crossing him was a risky move. Marvin Jr. bore the brunt of his father's expectations, experiencing both physical and emotional abuse from a young age. His journey wasn't just about hitting high notes, it was about enduring a challenging home life while chasing his dreams. Marvin's dreams clashed with his father's expectations. While Marvin Jr. aspired to pursue music, Marvin Sr. wanted him to follow a different path to be a good soldier and live up to his standards. It wasn't just physical abuse that weighed heavily on Marvin Jr. His father's hurtful words cut deep, leading him to believe he was worthless. Despite singing to please his father, the better he got, the more demands were placed on him. Marvin Jr. S. struggles with feeling inadequate and the pressure to meet his father's standards led him to contemplate suicide. He credited his mother, Alberta, with saving him from such a fate, stating that without her love and support, he might have become another tragic headline. Seeking an escape from his father's control, Marvin Gaye joined the Air Force with dreams of becoming a pilot, despite his fear of flying. It was a rebellion against his father's wishes and a desire to break free from his suffocating influence. However, military life proved challenging for Marvin, who struggled to adapt to its strict regimentation. After his discharge, Marvin pursued his passion for music, forming the vocal group The Marquise with his friend Ree Palmer. Despite facing setbacks, including rejection from record labels, Marvin persevered, honing his musical talents and paving the way for his future success. 
Marvin's breakthrough came in 1962 when he co-wrote a track for the Marvelettes and released his solo hit, Stubborn Kind of Fellow, which reached number eight on the R&B charts. His career gained momentum with subsequent hits like Hitchhike and Pride and Joy. By the mid-1960s, Marvin was a rising star, collaborating with artists like Mary Wells and scoring hits that topped the charts. His smooth vocals and soulful lyrics captivated audiences, earning him recognition as one of the era's leading musicians. In 1967, tragedy struck when Marvin's singing partner, Tammy Terrell, fell ill during a performance and was diagnosed with brain cancer. Despite the success of songs like Ain't Nothing Like the Real Thing, their partnership was cut short, leaving Marvin devastated. However, he continued to thrive as a solo artist, achieving commercial success with hits like I Heard It Through the Grapevine and What's Going On. Marvin's music reflected the social and political turmoil of the time, addressing issues of love, injustice, and racial inequality. His iconic album, What's Going On, remains a timeless masterpiece, showcasing his talent for blending soulful melodies with poignant lyrics. Throughout the 1970s, Marvin's career soared with albums like Let's Get It On and collaborations with artists like Diana Ross. He became a cultural icon, using his platform to advocate for social change and inspire audiences worldwide. Despite his professional success, Marvin's personal life was plagued by turmoil. His marriage crumbled, and he struggled with addiction and financial woes. Seeking refuge from his troubles, Marvin fled to Europe, where he continued to pursue his music career. In 1982, he made a triumphant return with the album Midnight Love, featuring the hit single Sexual Healing. The album earned Marvin his first Grammy Award and reaffirmed his status as a music legend. Tragically, Marvin's life was cut short when he intervened in a dispute between his parents and was fatally shot by his father in 1984. The incident shocked the world, leaving behind a legacy of groundbreaking music and a cautionary tale of the dangers of unresolved family conflict. Despite the hardships he faced, Marvin Gaye's music continues to resonate with audiences, reminding us of the power of art to transcend adversity and inspire change. His story serves as a reminder to seek help in times of need and to never let the darkness overshadow the light within us. Marvin Gaye's legacy lives on through his timeless music and the lessons we glean from his life story. He may no longer be with us, but his voice echoes through the ages, guiding us through life's trials and tribulations. His story is one of resilience, perseverance, and the enduring power of music to uplift and inspire. As we reflect on his life and contributions, let us honor his memory by embracing the beauty and complexity of the human experience. Marvin Gaye may have left this world, but his spirit lives on in every note, reminding us to keep singing, even in the darkest of times. Marvin Gaye's influence extends far beyond his music, he left behind a profound impact on the cultural landscape of his time and beyond. His songs continue to resonate with audiences worldwide, transcending generations and genres. From his soulful ballads to his socially conscious anthems, Marvin's music speaks to the human experience in all its complexity. But Marvin's legacy isn't just about his chart-topping hits, it's about the man behind the music a flawed and deeply human individual who faced his share of struggles and triumphs. His journey from a troubled childhood to international stardom is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the transformative power of art. Even in death, Marvin's influence endures, with countless artists citing him as a major inspiration. His music has been sampled, covered, and celebrated in various forms, ensuring that his legacy lives on for future generations to discover and appreciate. In the end, Marvin Gaye's story is one of triumph over adversity, of love and loss, and of the enduring power of music to heal and unite us. As we continue to listen to his timeless melodies and reflect on his life's journey, let us remember Marvin not just as a legendary musician but as a beacon of hope and inspiration for us all.